So I think this is an important uh, video someone shared with me. Uh, in this video, this person is a homeopathy practitioner and he is talking about why homeopathy practice or homeopathic medical practice is actually much better than uh, science-based medicine and other practices. Homeopathy versus allopathy and other systems of medicine. Let me tell you which one is the best. So here he says allopathy. So allopathy is not modern medicine. It is not science-based medicine. Allopathy is a derogatory term coined by the inventor of homeopathy in the early 1800s when homeopathy was being you know, discovered. So uh, allopathy is basically ancient heroic European medicine where patients were subjected to a lot of brutal or barbaric kind of treatments including bloodletting or trepanning where they put holes in the skull, uh, you know, hammering of the head for headaches and you know stuff like that. So they were made to vomit. They were... Uh, they were given medications to induce diarrhea. It was it was a lot of uh, barbaric kind of uh, practice at the time as part of treatments. So this guy, uh, uh, Samuel Hanneman, he decided that you know we need a gentle form of treatment, and that is how homeopathy, uh, the gentle healing, as they claim, uh, was born. So allopathy is not realistic science-based medicine. That is a derogatory term that these people continue to use. Uh, to showcase modern medical practice or science-based medicine as inferior to their practice, when in fact it is not. In allopathy, almost every medicine has got its own side effects. But in homeopathy, we don't have any side effects at all. This is completely wrong. Um, in science-based medicine, there are side effects, but there are also benefits. So the way to look at it is, uh, take the example of paracetamol, which everybody wants to talk about all the time, trying to demonize uh, science-based medicine. Uh, there is a dose range which actually benefits the patient and there is a dose range which can cause harm. This is identified through extensive studies by running various types of studies from observational studies to randomized double-bind controlled trials to meta-analysis of all those trials, etc. And so we have a dose we know that works for the patient where the benefits are much, much, much more than the risks. The risks are very less. Then there are dose ranges where the risks are more and the benefits are lesser. So we, we treat the patient with medications within the dose range which benefits them. So there are side effects, but the treatment process is not to bring side effects. It is to actually bring the benefits within the dose range. Now, homeopathy, as he claims, no side effects at all. We can take it in two ways. One is that homeopathy does not have anything in it. So there is no side effect. So basically they feed people milk sugar, which is lactose or distilled water or sometimes even alcohol. So alcohol has its own side effects, but they give them drop by drop. Uh, and patients consume probably 20 ml over one month. And uh, they call that medic medicine. And obviously it does not have any actual immediate side effects. The second is that uh, there are actual side effects from homeopathy medications because there are three types of homeopathy medications or formulations that they claim. One is the classical dilution uh, formulations where you know it's the homeopathy, the actual compound is diluted to uh, you know monstrous levels that there is nothing left in it, and you just have either a saline or a milk sugar or you know distilled water, etc., which does not harm. That is classical dilution. The second is something known as mother tinctures, which are very dangerous. They contain a lot of alcohol, even up to 90% volume by volume alcohol. And they sometimes prescribe that. That's that's shown to cause organ damage, especially liver damage. We have a paper in Hepatology Communications, the official journal of the American Association of Study of Liver Diseases, where we show that uh, use of proprietary homeopathic formulations and mother tinctures have actually led to severe liver injury and liver failure in a large group of patients. The third one is proprietary medications. Proprietary medications are homeopathic medications which are prepared by specific manufacturers or you know private companies. And uh, they include a lot of commonly used over-the-counter medications like cough syrup or some allergy medications, etc. But they contain active ingredients and even these have been shown to cause cardiac arrest, uh, severe poisonings, uh, severe anaphylaxis or shock, severe skin uh, reactions, allergies that can uh, lead to death, including strokes. So it's not that homeopathy is not without any effect and uh, not without any side effects. They have a lot of side effects and this is well documented in literature. Allopathy uses short term and quick fixes that suppress or treat the symptoms through painkillers or any other medicines only for short term. Whereas homeopathy is long term and without any side effect. So again, he is trying to mislead here. So this, this guy here is what we call as a disinformer. 
so he knows that none of this actually is the truth but he is giving out purposefully intentionally this wrong information to mislead people so that they you know either uh, end up with an actual uh, medical practitioner with realistic consequences of that mis- disinformation or they develop slow and steady complications in due course this is this is disinformation so what he is claiming here is that uh, modern medicine or science based medicine treats uh, symptoms or gives medications to suppress symptoms this is completely wrong uh, in in science based medicine it is basically investigative medicine where we look at the symptoms and signs and then we come to a conclusion about what the disease is first and then we identify the cause for the disease so we have an actual cause effect relationship here and we treat the cause so that the disease ultimately gets controlled so if we if somebody has fever we don't just treat the fever we find out why the fever is there so the fever can be because of a lung infection and pneumonia it can also be because of a gastritis or a gastrointestinal infection which can be caused by various bacteria virus or fungi we identify these causes treat them and that is how these symptoms subside we don't directly treat the symptoms symptomatic care is part of medical management because we want to comfort the patient in homeopathy they don't have a diagnosis in the first place because they believe that this is is a caused by something known as imbalance in vital force this is exactly what is been taught in colleges in for homeopathy even now that is diseases there is no germ theory they don't consider germs or microbes as uh, something that causes uh, disease they still believe that there is a vital force inside us and that vital force gets imbalanced and giving these diluted forms actually brings the balance back and that is how they treat diseases which is utter rubbish we give solutions that treats the diseases from the root cause allopathy so again they keep saying that root cause root cause but if you look at homeopathic books i have unfortunately read a lot of homeopathy textbooks and they have something known as totality of symptoms so they don't actually have any diagnosis per se so if you come with multiple symptoms for example you have fever you have chest pain you have abdominal pain you have um you have leg pain you have cramps they take all these symptoms together and they identify different types of medications that they feel are causing these symptoms in you and they give you diluted versions of all those medications to suppress these symptoms that is exactly what exactly what homeopathy is there is absolutely no diagnosis so if you go there with a pneumonia a fever with a chest infection they would definitely miss out on that pneumonia and keep giving them giving you their diluted uh, alcohol or distilled water or saline or milk sugar and by the time you uh, you know you start taking that and in a few days time your pneumonia would have actually flared and you would have got a severe bacterial infection all over your body and patients actually come to us in a very uh, in a very sad state terrible state after getting treated by homeopaths treats the symptoms of a disease only Where... this is again not true as homeopathy works along with the body's healing mechanism improves the immunity in a whole and cure the problem permanently if you are looking for so cure the problem permanently i i agree with because if you don't have a patient left to treat i mean the, there are no problems there because we have seen patients who have gone for uh, management of diabetes taking these oral insulin capsules and pills when insulin does not get absorbed in the stomach at all it has to be injected to, for it to work so these kind of treatments they provide them and patients come with something known as diabetic ketoacidosis which is a very very uh, serious situation which can lead to death uh, because it's it 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 causes rapid onset multiple organ failures also so permanent cure f- uh, in his i think for him is to you know take the patient out of the picture so there is no more disease affecting the patient at all so please remember that none of these actually is true and homeopathy actually treats the symptoms and suppresses try to suppress the symptoms even that doesn't work out uh, science based medicine goes to the root cause of these symptoms di- makes a diagnosis and then identifies the cause for that particular disease state and then treats it it, it can be a short term disease it can be a self limiting disease it can be a long term disease it can be a genetic disease it can be a cancer whatever it is science based medicine identifies the actual root cause and gives a pragmatic solution for it so please don't follow see the these quacks uh, they just are here to misinform the public at large so please be safe and stay safe